So our HIV virus arrived. It's a strain that is common in the literature, so that's why we're using it. And it has, of course, being an infectious agent, has special precautions to handle it. I'll put them on my gloves, even though the virus at the moment is sitting in the minus 80 degree freezer. So when the virus arrives, it is frozen on dry ice, but it is a liquid. So when it thaws, it will be in a liquid. Basically what it is is a concentrate of the tissue culture supernatant that the company prepares. And they, they spin it down in what's called an ultra centrifuge because viruses are very small, they're very light. So it needs a great deal of G-force, like 100,000 times G, to pellet the virus. And then they send the pellet in a little bit of media. So this is the vial as it arrives. You can see it's in a little bit of liquid there, frozen solid. We're going to thaw it, and we actually thaw it rather quickly so that you move the crystallization. You try to get rid of those ice crystals as fast as you can. So we take uh, that and we aliquot it into these tiny tubes. You can see just a little bit of virus in the bottom of each of these tubes. It doesn't show up very well because it's light colored. And we'll work with it in this uh, biological safety cabinet. As you can see right now, it has a UV light on. And the equipment inside is being kind of bathed and sterilized in UV. There's media, PBS, and there's a little beaker of 10% bleach, which is basically how we inactivate the virus. So any tips we use or any tubes we use go into the bleach, and then we let them sit there for, I let them sit there overnight, and then the next day can throw them out safely.